Samara City, a thousand kilometers southeast of Moscow. A life-size model of the Soyuz rocket stands high above the city's traffic. Since the late 1950s, it has been here on the shores of the Volga River that the Soyuz launchers have been manufactured and integrated before being sent into space from Baikonur or Plzensk. But soon, thanks to a European Space Agency program, this historic rocket which launched the first Sputnik satellite and indeed the first man into space will have a new launch base in French Guiana. For Russian space professionals like us, and for the Europeans too, the presence of Soyuz in Guiana represents an important step forward. It's the fulfillment of a project that began back in 2000, when President Putin and President Chirac signed a space cooperation agreement. Now we're about to see it come to fruition, with these launchers taking off from the Guiana Space Center. Originally, back in 1894, Soyuz was a bicycle manufacturer based in Moscow. The firm then diversified into airplane construction. During the Second World War, the factory transferred to Samara and the firm's activities evolved further and specialized in rocket production. The Soyuz Integration Hall is enormous, around 500 meters long. And among the many launches being made ready there, work is underway on the first two Soyuz rockets that will leave from Guiana. Every element of a Soyuz launcher can be found in this hall. The motors and boosters that make up the first stage, the second stage central core, the third stage, the fairing, etc. Around 100 people work on this highly skilled assembly. With about 1,800 launches to their credit, the preparation of Soyuz runs like a well-oiled machine, and adapting it to take off from Guiana doesn't really pose a problem. The Soyuz launcher has just moved up a generation, if I can put it like that. The control system has been changed to a more sophisticated, ultra-modern digital one. And we've had to adjust to the safety demands made by the French state, since the launching state is in Guiana. We've made this adaptation by installing certain additional equipment on board the launcher, and that has made us compliant. In the center of the integration hall, an Ariane space engineer and technician team analyzes the behavior of the European safety kit. This is the equipment that must be added to Soyuz so that it can be launched from the Guiana Space Center. This device will stop the motors if the rocket leaves its trajectory. This is the most important change made to the launcher and will enable it to carry out missions from Europe's spaceport. Indeed, at the end of the day, the language of space is universal. Culturally speaking, we've been in the habit of working together since 1999 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. So people may find themselves at a different site, but overall it's the same sort of relationship and it works very well. The final integration of a Soyuz takes about two months, but we need a one-year cycle per launcher at this factory. About 12,000 people are employed here and currently produce an average of 13 Soyuz rockets per year. Outside, it's minus 5 degrees when the working day comes to an end for Samara's workforce. But the thermal shock will come later for the rocket stages when they're transported by rail to St. Petersburg and then on by boat to the equatorial base in Guiana where the average temperature is between 28 and 30 degrees. Between Kourou and Sinamari, Work is well on course for the future launch pad that will receive the Soyuz rockets sent from Samara.